name's Clive and I'm on a mission to rebuild this English built gaff cutter Andromeda built here on the east coast in the UK. Last time around you saw me making a start on building this rudder. I was cutting out the planks for it. Fast forward six months from the lockdown in March and this is where we're at right now. So I'm just going to talk you through some of the processes that I put in place to get to this point right here and then we'll have a look at the old rudder in comparison with the new one. So this all started when I first bought the boat and the gudgeons looked pretty ropey to me. Uh, on closer inspection they were in really poor condition and you can see the transom there is looking a bit rough. Subsequently uh, a couple of years later when I lifted the boat out of the water I discovered this when I took the rudder off the boat. On the inside, the stern post is still really, really chunky and in really good condition, so I just had a bit of a job to repair that part of the transom. We got the rudder off the boat and it took a little bit of work to remove the gudgeons and the straps and grind the heads off and all that kind of thing, but I started to strip the rudder down and decided it needed replacing. These are what the gudgeons look like and they have actually cleaned up really well and they are going to be temporarily used. So the wood was delivered just before we went into lockdown in March and laying it out on the floor I managed to ascertain that there was more than enough wood so I cut it up into strips and drilled some holes through it. In some places the wood was in really poor condition though and it was really bent and twisted. This piece in fact before I cut it was straight and as soon as I cut it it then bounced into this shape so really difficult wood to work with. I toyed with the idea of putting the through bolts in at an angle but that didn't really work so I've decided I'm going to put them through straight. So I cut the old rods out of the old rudder. These are kind of brass rods around about three feet long, half inch diameter. And I decided I'd drill some holes through this new rudder and put them in through that as well. So here's the rudder having been laminated in quite a few places. It's not laminated all the way across at this stage, um, but it's just a case of gluing it. And this is where I've laminated almost all of the pieces together, uh, just where I need to build up the stock at the front. This is another piece being glued on the front of the stock just before the final piece which caps off the heads of the through bolts. And you can see here I deliberately left a straight edge on the top of the rudder uh, and I had to make sure that the edge of that was at 90 degrees so that I could let, then glue a piece on alongside that quite easily. And this is the piece that I glued on alongside it. So this allowed me to shape the final edge of the rudder and those two pieces capped the bolts. Cutting this curve on the inside up to the stock was quite tricky and I ended up using a router uh, using a plywood template and I routed it from both sides to give it that nice clean finish. So the next job to do was to remove the cheeks from the old rudder and these had massive copper through fastenings with roves on either side. Uh, I drilled them out and took the cheeks apart so that I could get that top gudgeon out of the old rudder. Doing a bit of planing and shaping and getting things into place, the keen eye ones amongst you would have noticed there's this protrusion on the old rudder and I had to try and replicate this on the new one. So this is how I did this, I cut this nice big block of wood and glued it into place and the bottom gudgeon strap will hold that in place. I also ground down the heads on the rods as they stuck a little bit out and that's allowed me to just fill those areas uh, to make them nice and flush. You can see here, this, this little video clip shows the shape of the new rudder versus the old one. It's very, very similar in shape. Uh, the curve up the top of the rudder blade here comes out a little bit more and then it goes in a little bit more, but I'm not too worried about that. Aside from that, the new rudder has shaped up really nicely in comparison with the old one. She felt very nice on the helm uh, the small amount of times that I was able to sail her, so I didn't want to change the shape of the rudder and the weight of it too much. All in all, the thickness of the new rudder is still quite a lot thicker so I've got a bit of planing to do to bring it down to the right thickness but it's pretty close. Okay so as you can see things are getting pretty close now. Um, I've still got a bit of fine tuning to do on the rudder stock and the sort of cheeks to make to be able to fit the tiller into the top of it. I've also still got to fit the gudgeons and line them up and do all of that kind of stuff. Um, this whole process is new to me so I'm just sort of working it out as I go along. If you've got any comments or thoughts on how I've been doing things with the rudder or on anything that I haven't done yet, it would be great to hear from you, so please comment below. And thank you for all of your support over the years and for subscribing. If you haven't yet subscribed, hit that subscribe button and then you won't miss out on any future episodes.